What if I told you that millions of people worldwide live on less than a dollar and 90 cents a day? That's less than the cost of a cup of coffee, less than what most of us spend on a snack without a second thought. This is the harsh reality for countless individuals and families around the globe. Poverty isn't just about money, though. It's a complex issue that impacts health, education, and opportunities. It's a cycle that's incredibly hard to break. Children born into poverty often face malnutrition, which can lead to cognitive difficulties that affect their education. Without a good education, their job prospects dwindle, keeping them trapped in the cycle. The effects of poverty ripple out, touching every aspect of a person's life. It's a systemic issue that perpetuates inequality, denying millions the chance at a better life. But what if there was a way out? A way to escape the cycle of poverty? The first step to escape poverty is through education. Education is more than just acquiring degrees. It's about gaining the skills and knowledge that can open doors to opportunities. It's a powerful tool that can change your life and the world around you. And guess what? It's available and accessible. With countless free online courses and scholarships out there, anyone, anywhere can learn and grow. So let's seize these opportunities and empower ourselves. After all, education equips us with the tools we need to build our future. The second step is understanding and managing your financial resources. Financial literacy is not just about knowing how to count your coins. It's about understanding how money works in the world. It's about knowing how to make money work for you. Imagine this, you've got a seed, which represents your money. You can eat the seed and get immediate satisfaction, or you can plant it, nurture it, and watch it grow into a tree that will give you fruits for years to come. That's saving and investing. Then there's budgeting, your roadmap to financial freedom. It's deciding where your money goes instead of wondering where it went. There are countless resources out there to help you learn about managing your finances. From books to online courses, podcasts to YouTube channels, the world is your financial oyster. Remember, financial literacy is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Financial literacy empowers us to make informed decisions about our money. The third step is creating opportunities through entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship isn't just about making money, it's about generating income and employment, not just for ourselves, but for others too. It's about creating value and solving problems. It's about taking control of our economic destiny. How do we become entrepreneurs? It begins with identifying a need in the market, something that people want or need but isn't being met. Then, we develop a solution to meet that need. This could be a product, a service, or even a way of doing things. But you don't have to do this alone. There are resources available to help you learn about entrepreneurship and starting a business. Online communities, like Online Community KE, offer a wealth of information and support. There are also books, courses, and mentorship programs available. Entrepreneurship isn't easy. It requires hard work, dedication, and resilience. But the rewards can be immense. Entrepreneurship allows us to create our own opportunities. The final step is leveraging community support. You see, the sense of community is a powerful tool for escaping poverty. It's about people coming together, pooling resources, sharing knowledge, and supporting each other's progress. It's about the strength of the collective, not just the individual. Think of it like this. Imagine a lone tree standing in a field. It's vulnerable, isn't it? Now imagine a forest. The trees stand together, protecting each other from the harsh winds and storms. That's what community support is all about. There are countless examples of successful community programs and initiatives. These include local cooperatives, community-based financial schemes, and skill-sharing workshops, among others. Such initiatives empower individuals and foster collective growth. They help people to develop new skills, to access resources, and to build networks. Remember this, we are not alone in our fight against poverty. We have each other, and together we are stronger. Together, we can overcome poverty. So how do we escape poverty? We've seen that it starts with education, forming a solid foundation for a prosperous future. Next, financial literacy becomes crucial, teaching us how to manage our resources wisely. Then entrepreneurship steps in, creating opportunities where they may not exist. Lastly, community support reminds us that we are not alone. We can lean on each other for strength and encouragement. 
It's a long journey, but with determination, knowledge, and support, escaping poverty is possible.